how goes it everybody i'm jp toys 97 thank you for stopping in for another figure review i promised we're going to continue on here reviewing papo figures this is another figure that was in my collection for some time picked him up around 2015 i believe when jurassic world came out i had intended to review him but he kind of just got thrown to the side because he's technically not really a dinosaur uh, it's the papo dimetrodon Papo debuted this figure in 2013, alongside the Carnotaurus. I know Papo has done other prehistoric-like figures that aren't dinosaurs, but I tend to just I tend to just stick with the dinosaurs. And I always thought Dimetrodon was a very dinosaur-like looking prehistoric reptile. Do a little beautiful 360 here of this figure. All that lovely detail work that Papo puts into these expertly handcrafted and painted. Now it should be noted that Dimetrodon went extinct millions of years before the first dinosaurs even appeared. Easily mistaken for being a dinosaur more than any other prehistoric animal that I can recall. I myself was included in that. As a child, I always looked at this thing like it was a dinosaur. The name Dimetrodon means two measures of teeth. He got his name for his set of chompers here. He has these very small looking serrated teeth here in the back. And then he has these sharp canine looking teeth here at the front of his jaw. And of course, Papo has an articulated jaw on this figure. You can open up his mouth and just admire his intimidating set of teeth. What a set of jaws this creature had on it. I like the little nook here at the top of his jaw. So when you move the jaw up, the tooth kind of rests there. What a great head sculpt. As always, what to expect with Papo. Look at all the detail inside the mouth, just alone. Even if you don't pose this figure with his jaws open, just the level of detail in there is crazy to me. So he's got a great head sculpt with an awesome set of jaws. Uh, the colors Papo went with here on this figure are, to me anyway, they come across as very believable, almost like this is what you would expect a reptile of sorts to look like. I always felt Dimetrodon was very Komodo dragon looking, almost in a way. Thinking his fin here on his back was very Spinosaurus-like. I was like, oh, he has the same type of fin that Spinosaurus has. But look at all this scaling work here on his body. And you can see all the veins and the ribs here. Like, it's crazy. Crazy, and I love the colors. Different shades of tans and browns all on this guy. Really wonderful. He's from 2013, so he has these older Papo tags here on him. And he has this little flick here in his tail. The design that Papo went with for the sale, it's breathtaking. I feel like I've seen this pattern before on something, but I don't know what. It's very nice looking and very realistic to me. The sale was for attracting a mate, maybe warding off other rivals. This guy would be soaking up the sun outside, so his sale was to help regulate the temperature of his body. The underside of this figure is predominantly this beige color with some little brown dots here and there sprinkled throughout him. He even has a Papo copyright mark here on the underneath side of the figure. Something that I wish they would do more of. They, I wish they would label somewhere on the underneath side of the dinosaur, maybe on the foot. But that's nice, having a little mark there to tell you when the figure released. I feel like the underneath side of this figure makes me think of a crocodile, mainly here on the tail anyway. I feel like I see crocodile here on the tail and almost kind of here on his underbelly. This thing truly is something to behold. He may not be officially a dinosaur, but to me, he always belonged. And that's why I grabbed him for my collection. The Papo Dimetrodon comes in at about three inches tall and about six inches in length. We'll do a couple size comparisons here for you. Here's a figure I have yet to review also. It's the Papo Ovi Raptor. That's how he sizes up with the Dimetrodon. And here's yet another figure we haven't gotten around to reviewing here on my channel yet. It's the Papo Plesiosaurus. Mm -hmm. We are going to change it up a bit and I'm going to bring in the brown Papo Tyrannosaurus here to stand in. And that's where about the Dimetrodon will size up with the T-Rex. Good news for you if you want to add him into your collection. He's still being manufactured as of 2020 right now. He retails for around $20, so he's not really too expensive of a Papo purchase. Appreciate you tuning in and watching this video for this week. I hope you really enjoyed or found this helpful in some way. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and tell me what your opinions are about this Papo figure. 
I just think it's another beautiful addition into Papo's wide range of prehistoric dinosaurs and creatures. Fantastic. I love him. Let me know what you think. I also forgot to mention we hit the milestone 3 million total views across all my videos. I'm super happy. I knew we were going to hit it before the year ended. I really can't thank you all enough for your support. It means the world to me that you love my videos and what I do here. I'm yours truly, JPToys97. And until the next review, take care.